welcome Taurus to December 2020 video this is for Sun moon or rising taurus now taurus on the 21st of december we have saturn and jupiter conjuncting in aquarius since 1802 basically these planets which are very important planets have been conjuncting in predominantly earth signs now now earth energy is about it's quite heavy you know if you think of the earth it's heavy compared to air now air is about our mental thought thinking collaboration and looking at how we can basically do our best so that it basically helps everyone around us that's the air energy it's lighter and it's a lot of manifestation and this is where you reside with manifestation taurus about thinking things and creating it natural resources looking what the natural resources are so we can improve our planet and take better care of it that's the aquarius energy it's very humanitarian energy of working with others looking at our community looking at whatever ideas we have when it comes to work our personal selves how we can best improve not just for ourselves but for everyone around us when it was an earth energy it was a lot about consumerism it was the start of the revolution of the industrial era it was a lot about that but now it's a shift of finding the balance and harmony within us so we can basically put that forward into the world then on the second, we have Mercury joining the sun in your eighth house. On the 14th, we have a solar eclipse in the eighth house. And on the 16th, we have Venus also moving into the eighth house. Now, this is a lot about releasing your deep-seated painful experiences, trauma, and fears, insecurities. What is holding you back when it comes to your fears, your insecurities, painful experiences you've lived through that now you are ready to release? Now you're ready to let go of that pain. And so you can basically move forward. Think of any ideas you've ever had. The eighth house is also to do with our financial resources, especially when it comes to partnering up with other people. But before you make these decisions, before you can move forward, we got to release what is it that is basically our insecurity? What is holding us back? What is that traumatic experience? Because we want good things. We can't live in with those feelings within us. It's going to cloud our judgment. It's going to create mistrust of our intuition. So yeah, you are ready to release all of that, to trust yourself, to trust others, to partner up, to really work through that energy so you can basically bring rewards to you. The eighth house is about looking at other people's resources, their finances. The eighth house can also be partnering up with creative ideas, all of this with other people to bring in financial uh, betterment of you but you first have to release what's holding you back what are those fears what are you afraid of when it comes to expansion and growth you know no matter how much we grow there will always come a time where we have to process what we're feeling so we can grow more so we can transform more so now it's taking that energy really deep and the eighth house shows us everything that's hidden about ourselves what's hidden about other people so we can let it go it basically shines a light on any aspects of self-doubt, criticism, negative self-talk, basically. What hurt you? Who said what to you? That is now a pattern subconsciously and you're now releasing it so that you basically can move forward. On the 18th, we have Saturn moving into your 10th house. On the 20th, we have Jupiter moving into your 10th house. And then on the 21st, Saturn and Jupiter join in your 10th house the 10th house is about career making career changes what career changes do you want to make what do you want to expand on how can you work with other people to expand on this this is a massive change for you 10th house is world energy what do you want to put forward and if you don't have a career it's about basically putting yourself the best part of yourself out there into the world saying something nice to someone sharing a smile really looking at that energy of what you provide to others by being the best version of yourself how does it improve your life make it better make it more fruitful more rewarding more bountiful more blessed and that's what you're doing with that 10th house energy looking for those changes with your career looking for the changes you can make within yourself for the world at large and basically finding the blessings within all of that then on the 22nd the sun joins pluto in your ninth house and this energy is about learning 
learning, teaching, sharing wisdom, expansion, even travel. So traveling a little, seeing a new perspective, gaining a new perspective, expanding your mind, expanding with information, learning new things, expanding all things that you basically learned, looking at it from a different way, a different perspective, really opening your mind in various ways to learn, experience, you know, find that hope, find that inner passion through information that comes to you, even researching. Researching is excellent and understanding what you research, having those epiphanies and aha moments is all in the ninth house energy. Then on the 30th, we have a full moon and the full moon will be happening in your third house. So this will be a lot to do with how you think, how you think about yourself, all the thoughts that come to your mind. <laughs> what is it that's there that basically you need to release? Before we have feelings, we have thoughts and those thoughts basically encourage our feelings to grow. So what are you thinking? So that you can release those negative thoughts and basically put in some positive thoughts about yourself. Communication is also in the third house. Communic communicating with others, communicating with yourself. So it's about having that mental dialogue with yourself and communicating with others so that it makes sense, it's understood and there's no misunderstandings. Misunderstandings can happen with this full moon, especially if you are feeling low and thinking already in a negative space and nothing really seems positive, does it? No matter who says what to you. So yeah, it's a lot about going within and releasing how you think that's holding you back. So you basically can communicate with other people or even feeling like other people are miscommunicating with you. Allow for these shifts to happen. Allow for to the releasing of miscommunication and looking at how you communicate with yourself, within yourself, so you can bring your best self forward. Thank you so much for watching.